I oh. my dad told me to do that I forgot uh, I'm Olivia Larson I am a senior at Omaha Central High School Kaka, kaka, roar. <laughs> this poem is for Tinka for everything I uncoughed nicotine as I turned back to her. The girl who got home yesterday or today or a minute ago or right this second because as she speaks in the language she hasn't spoken in a year, she relearns this place, her home. Or is it just some place she used to live? Walking backward, the park peels itself off of her. It unfits itself to her and by extension, my memory. Under childhood bedrooms and heavy eyelids, we used to whisper secrets too light to remember the distance between our sleeping bags, catching every one of them. Now, in a different city, I don't know what she thinks about when she sleeps at night, but I'm hoping she sleeps tonight. We used to go camping with her family. Some people I'd only recognize with firelight on their faces. It's been a year. How easy it is to go back. The logs are unstacked, the smoke recaptures itself, the songs are swallowed, and I, the guest, am allowed to unstrike the matches, unlighting the fires one by one. The years I spent in Nahaka are nothing in comparison to the years I'll go back. Relive the nights before she left, before we got hurt in different cities by different people a thousand miles apart in the year without me. She spent more time with a cigarette between her lips than I did with a friend by my side, which is to say, we decided to quit at around the same time. She, gradual breakdown that she's still working on, me, cold turkey because nicotine was never a problem anyway, that was us. Girl of fire, woman of water, she drove more than I did. I wrote more than she did, she drank more than I slept, and I stayed more than she left, which is to say, she was always leaving. I didn't cry the night she left the first time as if preparing myself for all the others at the party with her favorite pastries from all the bakeries in Omaha, but I didn't cry eat donuts for the next eight months either when I wasted breaking my promise on a Dunkin' Donuts blueberry atrocity. I cried because it felt like forgetting her, Tink, the girl I met at a Halloween party and we've both been dressing up since, both drinking black coffee, but hers is always stronger. Sometimes when I drink it, it tastes like the first cigarette I shared with her. I thought she taught me how to smoke a lesson I wasn't sure I needed, but really she taught me how to breathe. I wanted to write a love poem for the girl who says words like lovely and wonderful and swears in the same breath, who has an open mind to everything. She changed me. I am not a smoker, not really, but I will be if she doesn't want to stand outside alone. The thing about her is she knows that places have power. A nomad girl taught me that home is sometimes a city you've never been to, the bottom of a chipped espresso cup or the B-side of a Leonard Cohen. The only thing about Tink that I ever wanted to change was how she made goodbyes look easy. When I heard the news my favorite comedian killed himself, I decided to write a letter and something beautiful to everyone I ever loved. I only ever finished hers.